core verse number 21. This is from Matthew. We're actually looking at three verses. Matthew 6, verses 19, 20, and 21. This is one of those times where Jesus talks about money. And he's basically going to give a negative statement, a positive statement, and then an explanation. So those are the three verses that we're going to memorize. A negative statement, a positive statement, an explanation. Here's the negative statement. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. Do not, I'm laying it up. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. Why? Because here on earth, it will be destroyed. It's going to be destroyed by three things. Where moth, I'm going to use my left hand, and kind of, I'm just going to flutter my fingers a little bit. You'll notice that. That's reminding me it's the moth, the moth, the moth. Where moth and rust, rust on the right, rust on the right. Where moth and rust destroy. 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 Moth and rust destroy. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in. They're breaking in. So I'm using both hands. I've got a breaking in to steal. Where thieves break in to steal, and where thieves break in to steal, and where thieves break in to steal, and where thieves break in to steal. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. So where should we lay it up? That's the negative. Now we're at the positive. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. So the two parts are do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth and then lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys. We've already memorized that, so that's pretty easy. And where thieves do not break in and steal. So we're basically repeating the negative in the positive now. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. One more time. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. So put that all together, negative and positive. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroys, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Here's the final verse, and it's the explanation, the most important part. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. All together, all three verses, negative, positive, explanation. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. One more time, Matthew 6, verses 19 through 21. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6, verses 19 through 21.